But now I'd like to concentrate on another aspect of rejection and share my, my thoughts for on today's programme and also things that I've also been through. Now I, I have faced, and I'm sure you have faced a lot of rejection in your life, and I remember the first, probably the first major one was when I actually um, told someone that I liked them. So normally it was the other way around, if you know, I, was, I would normally be approached by a guy, normally I wouldn't like most of those guys I didn't like, but I was used to it that way, but for the first time I thought I'm going to go and approach someone that I liked, and um, I got rejected. I wasn't expecting to be rejected, I have to admit. Not that I was big headed or anything, but I just didn't, because we were already friends and I thought maybe, you know, this could work. But I did get rejected and I, I remember feeling very embarrassed. I, I felt, oh my God, I've just now ruined a friendship. And, and, you know, he told me that he didn't see me in that way, that he only saw me as a friend. So it was embarrassing. And for, for a couple of weeks, I kind of felt very awkward around him. We used to call each other all the time and then we just stopped calling each other. And I thought, okay, I've lost a friend, basically. Um, but then I thought, you know what? Okay, it didn't work out for whatever reason, you know, it wasn't meant to be. So I just kind of moved on and, you know, just got on with my, I was actually at university at the time. I just got on with what I was doing and just carried on as normal. And when, when I least expected it, then he called me and said he changed his mind and we started going out together and then we got married and we've been married now for 20 years. So, but even if he hadn't changed his mind, I'd already moved on. And I think that's the, that's the important thing is that you can't, allow a rejection to um, make you feel so down that you don't bother kind of going on with life anymore because to be honest we face rejection a lot in life and I'll be honest with you I'm facing quite a bit of rejection um, as we speak with certain things that I'm trying to do certain things that I'm trying to get off the ground and I'll be honest with you it sometimes it feels like oh do you know what? I don't want to bother anyone I'm fed up I can't be bothered it's not working and you do feel that way. You do kind of feel, what's the point? What's the point of going on with this thing? It's not worth it. It's too much hassle. It's too much stress. But then something then kicks into place and it makes you start to think, well, you know, it's, it's, it's for a good purpose, for a good cause. Just keep going, keep plowing through. Even when it seems like nothing is happening, even when it seems like, you know, there's so much rejection everywhere, just keep going. And I, I, that's what I'm putting into practice at the moment and actually doing this program today has just reminded me of that as well. All the things that we've spoken about on today's program has actually given me more fuel as well to carry on going because it's when we least expect it sometimes that things actually do happen. So if you're facing this at the moment yourselves as well, um, just recognize it is normal just because you get a no, just because you get a, you know, people maybe kind of rejecting you or rejecting your, the ideas that you may have. It doesn't mean that your ideas are bad. It doesn't mean that you're bad. It just, maybe it's just not the right time. Maybe there's, you need to invest more in something. So just bear that in mind. And if it's something that means a lot to you, whether that's a relationship, whether that's um, a career, whatever it is, if it's something that's important and it means a lot to you, keep plugging away. You might have to um, rethink the way you're presenting yourself. You might have to rethink the way you're doing things, but try to improve wherever you can and just keep plugging on with your ideas, whatever it is that you're doing, and you will find success eventually. But anyway, also, just, just to also be realistic about things, there are certain things that, there are times when you just have to let them go as well. If you see that, you know, you, it's, it's making you sick and say, for example, in the case of a relationship, if, if uh, you like someone, this person doesn't like you, Okay, there are times when a bit of persistence pays off, but there are times when, you know, it's just not it's just not meant to be. It's not the person for you. Just move on. Just, you know, live your life and meet the right person later on. But you have to kind of know when something is worth pursuing and when it's not.